Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome to another season here at Staff Gymnasium. Opening night here, the Lady Boxers open the season against the Lakers of Aponicut High School. I'm joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, nothing like starting off the season on the right note. Exactly, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what the Brockton High Varsity girls can do for us this year. I heard there's a lot of um, up-and-coming stars on that team, a lot of talent. I'm just looking forward for a good season. Now, Brockton looking to avenge a playoff loss last year. They're looking, they've got six returning seniors four returning seniors from last year's team, including number four, Genesha Silvermore, the star of last year's team, and she's looking to have a huge season. Yeah, we look for her, a lot of leadership for the younger players this year. They do have um, six seniors on the team and three juniors, so let's see what happens. Tip off here, and Genesha Silvermore will control for the Brockton boxes. It's off, out, out, off of Tony Fairhurst, so it will be a Ponicut ball. Rocking with the full court press going right now. Number five controlling Kalen Milligan for the Lakers. Yeah, it looks like Brockton's playing um, a man-to-man -man right now. They might have a little bit of a height advantage over a Poniquit, but um, so the coach decides right off the bat to go man-on-man, -man, like you said, a full court press. right inside, stops, pops off the backboard and in. Aponica strikes first, 2-0. Yeah, that was, that was a nice drive by Milligan. She went right into the paint and threw up the little sh rainbow shot and went in. Tanisha Silvermore out to Jelani Jackson. Out of bounds, caught by me. I didn't know you had skills, Matt. <laughs> I got some of the best hands in all of Brockton last. To number 13, Chelsea Coe. Out to Callie Lee. He outside to Milligan. Milligan around the perimeter, right into the paint. What a block by number 11, Tony Ferris. And it'll be traveling against Brockton, a Ponicut ball. Gee, I don't know about that call. She really didn't have control of the basketball. Uh, but uh, like you said, very nice um, block by, I believe, number 11, right there in the paint. Uh, Fairhurst. Milligan out to Neal, goes for three. Off the rim and down, rebounded by number 24, Catherine Lewis, one of the returning players from last year. Over to Moore, over to Jelani Jackson for three. Good! Brockton on top, three to two, a three-pointer for Jelani Jackson. Yeah, nice shot by Jackson. She's only a sophomore. She feels pretty comfortable hitting that outside shot. And number 13 forgot the ball, Chelsea Coe, and it went out of bounds. Yeah, that was good. Good defense by Lewis. Putting the pressure, putting a tight D on her, and um, trying to dribble it, she lost the ball. More over to Aliyah Brito, inside the paint to Fairhurst. Fairhurst off the backboard and in. Yeah, that was nice movement by Fairhurst without the basketball. Getting good pass by number 35, uh, Brito. Go over to number 22, Caitlin Simonson. We're gonna have a foul called on Gianasia Silvermore. 22, look for your shot, look for your shot. Yeah, Brockton doing a good job denying the Lakers uh, easy points. And the uh, Lady Lakers really have to work for their shot. E over to Milligan. Milligan over to Simmonson, back to Milligan. 15 on the shot clock. Another excellent block by number 11, Tony Ferris. Now Brockton with a chance, another three-pointer. Top 10, good! Number 10 with the big three-pointer, Natasha Elias just checked into the game. 
put Brockton on top by a score of eight to two. Yeah, nice job by the senior, Natasha, coming in here off the bench, hitting her first outside shot, a long one too. I believe that was a three-point shot. If not, it was it was a nice shot. Hey, low, low, low. Armbar called against Whoa. number 24 for the Brockton Boxers. That is Catherine Lewis. Brockton getting into a little bit of early foul trouble. Already have three against the team. Yeah, they're, they're playing some tough defense. And a lot of times when you play tight, tough defense, you, you're going to have some fouls called. Put the ball the floor, Come on, tight defense. Almost a backcourt violation on the Lakers as number five, Kay Kaylin Minigan controls. Four on the shot clock, three is gonna be a long three attempt. Out, out and in. Out. So Brockton comes away with it. Yeah, nice defense, that's what you wanna do. M play defense and, and make them shoot something they don't wanna shoot because the time's running out on the shot clock. Oh. 10 being called with an offensive foul for Brockton. That is Natasha Elias. So Ponikit striking back, Miles, with the tight man-to-man -man defense. Yeah, they're gonna have to play tight defense um, to stay with Brockton. Logan on the outside, driving into the paint, gets it out to knee. Yeah, you know, to number 22 who shoots a three. Off the rim and out. No good, but Aponikit gets the offensive rebound. Yeah, tough break for um, the Lakers. That's the second one that went rimmed in and out. As we know, these Lakers can shoot the outside shot. Right now, then it's not falling in. No again, beyond the three-point line. But again, Tanu trying to dive inside. No good. Four seconds. Three on the shot clock, another three attempts off the rim and rebounded by number 24, Catherine Lewis. And nice defense by the Lady Boxes. Coast to coast for Lewis. She lays it up and in, 10 to two, Brockton on top. Yeah, nice job by Lewis. Body control went right to the hole. Go, 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 go. Foul called against Jelani Jackson, the sophomore guard for a blocking foul to send Kaylin Milligan to the charity strike for two shots. And, and that's what Anna, Anna Ponner's gonna have to do. They're gonna have to drive to the basket and get some of these, get some of these starters in foul trouble. Um, and we're getting a replacement right now. Number three, Sarah Milligan replacing number 13, Chelsea Coe. And Aliyah Brito Milligan, is taking a rest. Milligan goes 0 for 2 at the free throw line. 10 to 2 still your score. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Brockton. Three minutes, five seconds left to go in quarter number one here. 10 to 2 the score. Brockton on top of the Aponicut Lakers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson alongside Miles Jackson bringing you all the action on opening night here at Staff Gymnasium. Yeah, Brockton's, Brockton's Lady Boxers, they're, they're really paying some tough, de they're, they're making um, the Lakers, Lady Lakers work, just bringing a ball down. The one thing we're seeing, Miles, is Aponikit is not rushing to get any shots off. This, there was six seconds left on the shot clock before the whistle. And they've already had a couple of very near shot clock violations tonight. Yeah, they've, they've been very patient on offense, looking for that right shot. But because of Brock Lady Box's defense, like you said, they, they end up having to shoot with about three seconds left on the clock. clock most likely a shot they really don't want to take. But they, they, they are a good outside shooting basketball team. It's just a matter of them, matter of them warming up to hit that shot. Milligan all the way through. Good job to keep it in bound by number three, Sarah Milligan. And it went out of bounds off of Brockton. Yeah, uh, Catherine Lewis, when she got the basketball, stole it. Um, 
she didn't realize where her feet were and stepped out of bounds, bringing the ball up the court. Scissors is coming in. Scissors coming in. Scissors coming in. 17 seconds being put on the shot clock. That's what we're waiting on here. With 2.23 left to go in the first quarter. Might as well we have this little break in action. We have a very special birthday here in the city of Brockton. The four-time award-winning director, producer, the living legend, the birthday boy, the one, the only, Newbie Ratto. Yeah, happy birthday, Newbie. Special birthday shoot, uh, shout out here on opening night. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Number 10 drives inside and is able to draw a foul. A good play with time winding down on the shot clock, Miles. Yeah, um, good drive to the basket. Um, I believe number 23 was called for the foul, which is kind of good. So the, number 11, one of the lady boxes, um, Fairhurst, you don't want her to get in trouble because she's a force in the red paint. She's a force, so as long as she can stay out of foul trouble, I think the boxes will be okay as far as um, defense goes in the paint. Number 10 goes two for two, Callie Knee for two points at the free throw line. It's being brought up court by Catherine Lewis. Three, blue with the blocking foul that is Jess Dubois. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Brockton playing the outside game. Tony Fairhurst just outside the paint, up and in. Yeah, Fairhurst very comfortable there, right around the paint. That looked effortless, but that was a nice shot. Sarah. Bounds against no. No. the Lakers, so Brockton will inbound it. 12 to 4 with a minute 38 to go. Yeah, it looks like um, the Lady Lakers have nothing to answer back with uh, Tony Fairhurst. And if the Lady Boxers are smart, they'll feed it into Tony. Miles, one of the perks of being a broadcaster here at Brockton Community Access, we're situated at a, t at a table right near half court, and we are right next to the Aponicate Lakers bench. And a few moments ago, I heard the Aponicate coach telling number five, Kaylin Milligan, that every time she touches the ball and gets into the paint, Brockton is following her, which is true. And to keep driving into the paint, so that's going to be the strategy is really get the starters in foul trouble. Exactly. Nice job by uh, Du Bois hitting that shot for the Lady Lakers in the paint. 12-6, under a minute to go here in quarter number one. Knee bringing it up court for the Lakers. Gets it back to Milligan. Foul call against number 12 for Brockton, Serena Amato. That's a hold, and Miles, we're seeing it right now. Brockton already eight, 18 foul, fouls, and now any foul committed, Aponicate will be at the line for the remainder of the half. Yeah, that. Um, so what Aponicate has to do is uh, keep doing what they're doing, drive to the basket. And um, get get to the paint, get to the foul line. Ten for three, off the rim and out, no good. Natasha Elias trying to add to a three-point total on the night. Yeah, I, I like that shot Natasha takes. Most of the time she makes that shot, so I have no problem with her taking that outside shot. Ten for long three, knee for it, no good. Yeah, that was a nice job by Natasha blocking out on defense to get that rebound. 10 seconds left, Brockton holding for a last shot. Natasha Elias over to Aliyah Brito up. No good and the buzzer sounds. So at the end of the first quarter, 12 to six your score. And Miles, not necessarily a bad quarter, but Brockton really needs to get their following under control. Yeah, they do, um, but they're playing good defense and they're making um, the Lady Lakers 
work very hard for their shot. So I, I, I'm, and I, and the Lady Boxers have a strong bench. So I think the coach for the Lady Boxers has enough um, reserves to to um, offset the foul trouble that these starters might get into because there's a, the refs are calling a lot of fouls out there. But the Lady Boxers are playing some tough D. Miles. We've had a, a little bit of a break in, in Brockton High Sports, a couple of weeks off between the last football game on Thanksgiving and tonight. It's good to have the team back together, Miles, and most importantly, it's a packed house here. The Brockton fans coming out strong on opening night here at Staff Gymnasium. Yeah, I'm really impressed with Brockton High's um, fans to come out and see the uh, opening home game for the Lady Boxers. A lot of support for um, Brockton Sports here in uh, Brockton, and it's just nice to see them all out here first game of the season and I mean, and we're not talking about a, a, a big time team we're talking about a small um, small school and but the fans came out to see the lady boxers play some good basketball miles a big week next week we've got two girls basketball games Monday and Friday and two boys basketball games on Tuesday and Thursday those boys games are against st. John's and BC high two big Catholic League rivals really in all sports and then Wednesday night, we thought we'd have a break, but it's the opening hockey game over at Asiaf Arena. So the sport's coming early and often here in mid-December. Yeah. A lot happening in uh, winter sports at this time. Number 35 for Brockton, Alia Brito said, no, get out of my house. Yeah, that was good defense by Alita. Milligan over to Knee. Knee with a long three off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Tony Fairhurst. Yeah, Fairhurst controlling the defensive boards. She's doing a nice job underneath getting those rebounds. Giannisha Silvermore back in the game over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson for three. No good. Fairhurst with the rebound up, in, and the foul. Well, that was a nice job by uh, Fairhurst, she was careful when she got the rebound that she didn't go over the back of the um, of the defender and put it up nicely and got fouled. Very nice job by uh, Fairhurst. Fair, the uh, foul rather going against Kaylee Knee with a hands to the face of Tony Fairhurst. Rebounded by Milligan all the way up to number 13 who can't handle the pass and it goes out of bounds, Brockton ball. Yeah, they, they had somebody out there but it was just a little bit too far ahead of her to get it. Golden opportunity for um, the Lady Lakers. 14-6 your score. Just a minute into the second quarter. Genesha Silvermore over to Jelani Jackson back to Silvermore. More for three. No good. Yeah, that was good defense there. I, I think she had a hand in her face that kind of disrupted her shot. Milligan holding. Moore comes away with it. And it's going to be a travel call against Giannisha Silva Moore. Gee, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't like that call. Maybe the referee knows something, I don't know, but uh, we'll let it go. Well, we get over to D. Silvermore with pressure. Rebounded by number 24, Catherine Lewis. Lewis all the way across court to Jelani Jackson. Jackson back to Lewis oh, down, Ferris the, oh, the, the foul? We heard it over here. We heard the oh, smack on Tony yeah. Fairhurst's hands. Now Moore, it's rebounded by Fairhurst, out to Jelani Jackson. Jackson out to Catherine Lewis for three, good. Catherine Lewis for three after the complete blown call by the officials on Tony Fairhurst. 17-6 the score. Number 22, Katie Simpson, over to Knee. Oh. Knee inside. Now Simpson over back to Knee. Knee to Simpson. Three on the shot clock. 
It's going to be a 24 uh, a shot clock violation rather against the Aponicut Lakers who take their first time out of the game with 526 remaining. Yeah, I'm getting all excited over here. Knocked over my drink. Man, I, I just couldn't believe the ref didn't call a foul. Everybody heard the foul. It was a, to the biggest smack on the arm. It and he was, was right underneath the basket. It was an audible smack from across the gym, and the crowd erupted when he yes. did not call a foul on that play. But a little bit of... Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember the word I'm looking for, Miles. I, I'm having a mind blank just baffled by the no-call by the officials. But, but um, I, I tell you, the lady boxes um, responded well. They didn't lose their composure, start yelling at the refs. They just kept playing basketball. And that's what you got to do. And then Catherine Lewis able to shoot a three-point shot for a 17-6 lead. Well, we have a little break. We want to thank our cameraman for tonight's festivities. It is Mike the Postman Simmons once again making the special delivery here on opening night at Staff Gymnasium. I was going to say, Mike always delivers. When you call upon him, he will deliver. Janisha Silvermore to inbound to Jelani Jackson. And Miles, we talk about the multi-talented athletes here in the city of Brockton. Jelani Jackson was one of the starters on the Lady Boxers soccer team. And now here she is come winter sports starting for the Lady Boxers basketball team. Yeah, that's great. You, know, you always got those special athletes that can play more than just one sport, and she's one of them. Looking over to knee, broken up by Silver Moore. And knocks it out of bounds, a Ponicate ball. Yes, I like Silver Moore's defense. She's always hustling, always looking for that um, steal. Knee for three, good. And, and that's what the coach has been waiting for from the Lady Lakers. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Rockland's got to be careful. Don't, don't let them warm up from the outside. Jackson to Lewis to Fairhurst, up and in. Oh, that was just a beautiful touch on the ball. She was in close, did a little jump shot, and just enough touch on the um, shot to make it. Ponicate with the outside game. Now number 13, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea Coe with a long two-point shot, 19 to 11. The action picking up here in the second quarter. Yeah, Lady Lake is starting to warm up on that outside shot. Catherine Lewis for three, no good. Rebounded by Callie Knee. on the shot clock. Milligan looking for someone to move. Nobody's moving. Milligan will take a long three, no good. Rebounded by Jelani Jackson. Yeah, nice defense by the Lady Boxes. I think the Lady Lakers are a little confused. Catherine Lewis for three, good! Nice form by Lewis. Had her feet set and took the shot. Just inside half court, 22 to 11 to score. Brockton on top of Ponikit. Shoot the ball! Uh, beautiful, beautiful back door. Beautiful back door pass to Cali Knee, who laid it up and in, 22 to 13 now. Aliyah Brito up and in. Oh, that was nice, nice movement by Brito. Little turnaround, soft jumper. Used her body well. Shot is up and in. Ooh, that was nice recovery there by the Lady Lakers there. Timeout called by head coach April Dingwell of Brockton. Yeah, Cal Callie Leash, it wasn't a great pass. She went up and got the pass all in one motion, turned around and took the light, soft little jump and made the shot. That was a nice play by uh, Knee. 24-15. The score, the Brockton Boxers on top of the Aponicut Lakers with just under three minutes remaining in the first half. 
Miles Brock didn't follow trouble, but really getting it under control here in the second quarter. Yeah, that they're really getting they really getting it under control, getting a lot of um, contribution from their bench, and still playing good defense, still making the Lady Lakers work for their shot. But you can see the Lady Lakers are starting to warm up on the outside with that outside shot. So Brockton on uh, Lady Box has got to be careful to keep the D on the um, outside shot that the uh, Lady Lakers take. And Miles, really the last two minutes has been an offensive explosion for both teams up and down the court. Every shot taken has been good and it's really driving the score of this game up. Yeah, you can tell both teams are really feeling comfortable now into the game. We're in the second quarter. Butterflies are gone. Now they're out there just playing hoops. Miles, let's talk about the work of number 11, Tony Fairhurst, inside the paint. She's the tallest player on the floor. She's been rebounding. She's been laying the ball up and in. She's been really doing it all here for the Brock and Boxers. Yeah, she's been a good leader. She's only a junior, and she's just showing her maturity early on in this um, season. Elias over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson is fouled and she will shoot two shots from the free throw line. A push called against number 22 for opponent, Katie Simonson. Yeah, nice job by Jackson going to the hole and taking that shot with a man with a man on him and got fouled. Jackson's first shot up and in to make it a 10 point game. Yeah, um, Jackson's only a sophomore. Ball went out of bounds off of Tony Fairhurst. Laker ball to be inbounded by Simmonson. Simmonson over to Knee. Knee over to Milligan. Milligan driving inside the paint. She is fouled. Twenty-three of the Brockton boxers. That is Jelani Jackson called with multiple touches. Yeah, I, I think she's going to have to come out, she, and she is, because I think she's in a little bit of foul trouble here in the first half. As is her replacement, Genesha Silver-Moore, who has a couple of personal fouls. Milligan good on shot number one. To make it a nine-point game, 25-16 to 16 the score. Morgan goes two for two. Being brought up court by Gianesha Silvermore. Moore hands it off to Aliyah Brito. Down to Fairhurst. Fairhurst followed again. No whistle. Well, I think that, that was good defense, too. Knee back to Milligan. Switching to a zone defense here late in the second quarter. And Tony Fairhurst says, No, you're not getting a shot off again as Elias takes it up court over to Silva Moore. Moore for two good. Yeah, that, was, that was nice on transition ball right there by the Lady Boxes. Made the nice defensive play, brought it up quickly, and made the shot. Milligan walks right in and lays it up and in. Yeah, Lady Lakers answer right back. War inside to Aliyah Brito, no good. Out of bounds off of Tony Fairhurst. Callie Knee bring it up for the Aponicut Lakers. Over to Coe. Go to Milligan. Milligan back to Coe. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Milligan holding. She takes a long three. Good. 
Time was about to run out yet again on the shot clock. Yeah, that was from way downtown. Nice shot by Milligan. That was good travel. defense right there. A forced travel against number 21, Nadia Montero. Yep, you're right, a forced travel because it was good D by the uh, Lady Lakers. I'm sure they're gonna hold it for one more shot here. Shot clock is off here in the second quarter. Milligan tries to lay it up. Excellent defense, yet another blocked shot for Tony Fairhurst, her fourth blocked shot of the night, Miles. Yeah, and, and the reason she's blocking shots, she, Tony Fairhurst, she has long arms, and she uses them to her advantage. Long inbound for Aponikin. Taken up court by Milligan with seven seconds remaining. Another block by Tony Ferris, but it is a foul. Foul against number 24, Catherine Lewis, for an arm bar. Yeah, I, it was a little ticky tack. I mean, they're going to call that. They might as well call the ones where you can hear all over the gym the slapping ones. So, um, refs right now, refs a little bit inconsistent. but a nice drive. Um, Milligan did the right thing, driving to the basket, forcing um, someone to make a mistake and make a foul. And she completed that mission right there. Tell you what, the Lady uh, Lakers are doing a nice job. They fought back and they're right back in this ball game. Only down by four points. Milligan goes one for two at the line. Natasha Elias will hold on for the last shot. It's up, no good. Ferris with the rebound, lays it up and didn't. And one, Fairhurst getting fouled with about half a second remaining right after laying it up. That's a huge finish. Tony Fairhurst with yet another excellent play for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, that, that was a huge finish right there. Great positioning underneath by Fairhurst. She knows where to go when, when the Lady Boxers have the basketball. She goes right underneath, underneath by the basket, near the paint. Just waiting for the rebound to put that shot right back up. That was text, textbook. Um, defense, uh, offensive play right there by the big, big man. So time expiring on the first half. Miles, Brockton leading 29-23 in a lot of foul trouble early though. Yeah, they are in a little bit of foul trouble, but it's, again, they have a strong bench. They just gotta keep playing tough D and they gotta be careful with these Lady Lakers. Um, they're only down by six points and I, I can see Lady Lakers getting real hot and um, maybe overtaking the boxes if the Lady Boxers aren't careful. Miles, Tony Fairhurst, gonna be the player of the game so far. She's in the paint, she's taking all the shots. She's rebounding, she's blocking shots. She's doing it all for the boxers. Yeah, she is and I think in the second half, that's what the boxers have to do. Feed it into Tony Fairhurst and let her do her thing. Brockton's three-point shooting, Miles, has been on point so far tonight. Um, number 24, Catherine Lewis and Aaliyah Brito, both with a couple of three-pointers, really doing an excellent job shooting-wise. Yeah, and Brockton's got some outside shooters, just like the Lady Lakers have outside shooters. If they can get, if they can warm up, the Lady Lakers have a, a, a big um, hill to climb in that second half. So the score at halftime, 29-23, the Brockton Boxers lead the Aponicate Lakers. We'll take a quick break and then bring you the second half of action right here from Staff Gymnasium. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Daddy, One. Mad Dog Matt Nelson here with Miles Jackson back at Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Aponicate Lakers and your Brockton Lady Boxers. Second half's about to tip off, but Miles, Tony Fairhurst, Catherine Lewis. Gnaisha Silva Moore, the list goes on and on for the Brock and Boxers doing it all tonight. Yeah, they are, and they look pretty good for their first game, first home game of the season. They look pretty comfortable in that second quarter. I, I see them, long they can feed it to Fairhurst, 
and just control them boards. I see Brock and the Lady Boxers coming out of here with the win. And Kaylin Milligan and Callie Knee on the Aquanicut side of things, really holding down the fort, keeping the Lakers in this game. Yes, they are. And um, so Brockton has to be careful with these Lady Lakers because it looks like they're not going down without a fight. Knee has it now, gets it over to number 22, Simmonson. Simpson over to Milligan. Out of bounds off of number 35, Aliyah Brito. And that's very unchar uncharacteristic with Milligan throwing that ball away. Luckily, um, it went off the hands of one of the lady boxes. Three seconds on the shot clock, the shot is up, no good. And we have a 24 second violation. The second of the night, Miles, on the Aponica Lakers. Yeah, Aponica, I don't think the Lady um, Lakers knew exactly until the crowd started yelling 3 2 1 that they were running out of time. That's you, Lewis. Driving inside, off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Callie Knee. Knee over to Milligan. Yeah, Lady Lake is very patient with the basketball when they have it on the offensive end. But Miles, that's come back to bite them a couple of times tonight. Inbound, uh, thrown in the paint to Callie Knee, no good. And Giannisha Silvermore comes away with it all the way down the other end. She is fouled and it will be two shots. Yeah, that, that was a nice decision by um, Silvermore to decide to go to the basket. She's fast. and. Um, the Lady Laker had no defender, had no um, choice but to uh, get in there and uh, foul her. More good with her first shot, bringing the score to 29 to 23. Brockton on top of the Lakers. A 30 to 23, rather, more missing the second of her free throws. Brockton switching to that zone defense in the second half. And that's going to be a testament, Miles, to the man defense led to a lot of fouls in the first quarter. Yes, it did. Simmonson misses from beyond the uh, three-point line. John Jackson over to Silvermore. Moore all the way down to Catherine Lewis. Lewis for three, no good. And Tony Ferris with another rebound. Gets it over to Aliyah Brito, who lays it up and in. Yeah, what a play by Tony Fairhurst, yeah, Miles. Yeah, big time play. That's a big time one-two punch with the, with the big girls underneath the basket there. It's almost automatic. Oh, wow. That was real ticky-tack. Very ticky-tack foul. Called against Catherine Lewis. Lewis didn't see it. I didn't see it. I, I didn't see it either. Apparently, the ref saw it. Maybe his eyes are working, but not his ears, because yeah, you heard that exactly. slap in the first half, and exactly. no whistle. Kalen Milligan over to Kelly Knee. Smacked away by Aaliyah Brito, out of bounds. Yeah, very aggressive play by Brito. Nice defense. Had her hands up, slapped the ball away. Long inbound all the way back to the half court marker and Kalen Milligan comes away with it. Over to Simmonson, Simmonson back to Milligan. Milligan a long two, off the rim no good. And a rebound by Giannisha Silvermore. Who is fouled on her way into the Brockton offensive zone. Yeah, that foul was committed because of Silvermore's aggressive um, play on uh, getting to that basketball and then he heading, heading straight down to the to the court. Lady Lakers having trouble to keep up with her, trying to keep up with her. Sarah Milligan replaces Chelsea Coe for the Lakers. Inside, Jackson over to Moore. Right, Blue yeah. 22 with a yeah, defensive foul and then he tried to um trying to guard um Fairhurst. Yeah, that's just the um 
Silva Moore for two, good. 34 to 23, the score, 11 point lead for the Brockton Boxers. Out of bounds off of the hands of Aliyah Brito, so it will be a Laker ball. Knee looking to inbound, gets it over to Simmonson. Simmonson had some time and space, and she's gonna be called for a travel. Yeah, that was a nice call by the referee. He was right on top of that. Good defense by Brito. And we have a timeout called by the head coach of the Aponicut Lakers with five minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Brockton up by 11, 34 to 23 to score. And Miles, let's talk about Tony Fairhurst once again. She's on track for a triple-double tonight. And she's really doing it all. Yes, she is. She's doing it on defense. She's doing it on offense. She's doing it on the, um, on the boards underneath on defense and offense. And she's hitting those easy gimmies underneath from either rebounding the basketball or, or the pass from the outside. And Miles Brockton really turning it around in this half. They've only got one foul against the team where Aponicut has three to this point. Yeah, um, Aponicut's gonna have to stop making those outside shots. They're down by 11, they've slipped a little bit, but that's because of Brockton's tough defense. But if they wanna stay in this basketball game and have a chance to be close, because anything can happen when you're 10 points or under, <laughs> Um, with about four minutes left in the ball game, anything can happen. But Aponica is going to have to start hitting those outside shots. They can't. They can't afford to slip, slip any uh, further down the um, the scoreboard here. And Miles, a packed house here at Staff Gymnasium for opening night here on the 2014-2015 basketball season for the Lady Boxers. It's a busy week next week, but. The atmosphere really playing in the boxers' favor tonight. Oh, definitely so. And the way these lady boxers are looking on the first home game, I guarantee you, word's, word's going to get out that these lady boxers are about something. And I'll, I'm sure you'll see more fans the next time they have their home game. Leah Brito for three, no good. It acts as a pass to number 21, Nadia Montero, who lays it up and in. 13-point yeah, nice, lead for the boxers. Yeah, nice job on Montero. Watching where the basketball went. She was right there, positioned herself very nicely. Milligan to Milligan. Knee for three, no good. Now Sarah Milligan ripped down to the floor, but it's called a jump ball. Yeah, nice job by Montero to get her hands on that basketball so they wouldn't call a foul. Jackson inbounds to Silva Moore. Girls, five girls have the rebound, come on. Abby, off quicker. of Hoponica. Montero going to inbound, looking for Silva Moore. More down to Jelani Jackson. Jackson down to Aliyah Brito. Brito spins and shoots, no good. Rebounded by Fairhurst. And you're not going to see that too often. Both Brito and Fairhurst missing the easy two underneath. Even though Brito's were a little bit tougher, she had to use the body and turn around and shoot the ball, but Fairhurst should have had that. Miles, what a good sign from the Brockton bench. The camaraderie among this boxers team. Yeah. They still have many of the pieces from last year. Yeah, yeah, that's nice to see them uh, cheering their team on here. And they all have matching sneakers. Out of bounds off of the knee of Jelani Jackson. Yeah, that was good hustle by both sides. Now Kelly Knee with a wide open three point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Simmonson over to Kaylin Milligan. Yep, Lady Lakers bring it back out, set it up. Milligan over to Knee, Knee to Simmonson. Simmonson over to Sarah Milligan, who gets it over to number 21, Abby Sylvia. Back to Kaylin Milligan, over to Simpson, who puts it up, no good, and gets her own rebound. Knee to Simpson, over to Milligan. Yeah, Lady Box is getting the, um, the bounce on the rebound, coming right back to him. They need to take advantage. Milligan to Simpson. Nice, nice steal by Aliyah Brito. Stops, pops, no good. 
and, and I like the shot by Brito, even though she missed it. Um, good good uh, hustle by her part on the defensive end. And um, I, think, I think the crowd would have erupted if she would have hit that shot. Well, speaking of Aaliyah Brito, one thing we have yet to mention is she's playing with a brace on her right knee. So that's something that may have, may have been tweaked in, uh, we'll call it training camp, and practice sessions. But she is not at 100% right now. And that's scary because she's looking pretty good. Nice steal. Number 21 up. And blocked by Sarah Milligan. Yeah, that was a nice defense by Sarah to come from behind and get her hand on that basketball without fouling her. Leah Brito will take a breather. Nadia Montero with an excellent opportunity before Sarah Milligan could get all the way back and uh, reject that shot. Hands up, hands up, hands up, shoot up! Going more over to Montero, Montero looking inside for Fairhurst who can't corral the pass out of bounds. Yeah, that was good defense on um, the Lady Lakers part, forcing that pass a little bit outside where um, Fairhurst couldn't really get it. Had a tough time getting to it. Now, on these defensive um, defensive stands that um, the Lady Lakers make, they need to take advantage and get come back and get two points. Or three. Natasha Elias calling, called with a illegal hand to the back. Brockton now with three team fouls with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Simpson to knee who puts it up for three. No good. Rebounded by Natasha Elias. Elias over to Jackson. Jackson walks right into the paint. Up. No good. But she will draw two shots at the free throw line. And that's what Jackson likes to do. She likes to drive to the basket and um, shoot that shot hoping that somebody fouls her. She's, she's um, very fearless when it comes to going to the paint. Jackson makes the first of two. I think Coach Dingwell's doing a nice job subbing the players in and out. Because like you said, a lot of them have um, a number of multiple fouls. Jackson goes one of two from the charity strike, 37 to 23, your score with just under two minutes to go in the third quarter, Brockton on top of a Ponikit. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson alongside my broadcast partner, Miles Jackson, bringing you all the action from opening night here at Staff Gymnasium. Gee, nice move by Milligan there. A good drive by Natasha Elias, but it was rejected by one of the Lakers, sent out of bounds, but it remains a Brockton ball. Yeah. Elias to Moore, Moore for three. Good. Gina Silver Moore with the long three. Well, I, I tell you, even though there's a minute, 33 seconds left in the third quarter, that was a killer right there by Silver Moore hitting that three pointer. It, it puts um, the Lady Lakers down by 15 points now. That was just a big time shot. Miles, well, we just saw Giannisha Silvermore putting so much pressure on the inbounding Laker, Callie Knee, that Knee had to throw the ball off of Moore's legs and back out of bounds to get another attempt before it was a five second violation. Yeah, I tell you, when Silvermore is in the ball game, she's a spark plug. She makes things happen out there with her tenacious defense. Ooh. Natasha Top. Elias finds the floor, no whistle. Rebounded by Ferris to get it up back to Elias. Elias over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson with a long three. No good. But she finds her own rebound. Yeah, nice job by Jackson to take it back out, set up the play again. Elias for three. Oh, wow, it looked no like she had been a foul there. Yeah, we'll say number 33 hurt her hand. 
That is Jess um, Dubois holding wow. her left hand. Like she was grimacing a little bit. Wow, now big Kalani three. Jackson with a big three pointer like you said, Miles. 43 to 25, broken up by 18. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Yeah, Jackson warming up. Simmonson back to Kelly Knee. Knee over to Milligan. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Simmonson back to Milligan. Milligan in the paint. Off the backboard, no good. Jelani Jackson with the rebound. Jackson up to Elias. Elias, with all the space in the world, will take a three. No good, rebounded by Callie Knee. Shot clock is off, 20 seconds remaining. Up and down the court they go. Milligan for three, good. Yeah, she's a big time uh, player out there. That's a big three. What the Lady Lakers have to do, they have to stop the boxers from scoring on this last possession. Crockett holding for last shot. Catherine Lewis up no good, gets her own rebound. And the clock expires on the third quarter. Brockton up by 16 points, 43 to 27. I thought I saw a foul in there on Catherine Lewis's last attempt of that quarter, but yet me, again, no whistle. Yeah, me too. I, I, I don't know why no foul was called, but um, the Lady Box is doing a good job. They're keeping their composure, um, doing those um, pressure, pressure times out there when um, it seemed like a foul should have been called. They could have got upset, but they just kept playing. Nice job by the coach of the Lady Boxers to keep um, her team in, um, in um, calm mode. Miles, number 23, Jelani Jackson, starting to heat up. She hit a big three-pointer towards the end of the third quarter. Yeah, Jelani's showing her stuff. And she's just a sophomore, so that's very encouraging for the, the Lady Boxers. And she's just showing why she's out there a lot on the basketball court. Uh, that's saying a lot for a sophomore. Miles, another big piece is Tony Fairhurst, who's only a junior this year. Some, some stability in the years to come for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, big time uh, stability for the Lady Boxers, even though, again, they got six um, seniors on the team, but they're spread out, some starting, some coming off the bench. Again, the Lady Boxers look like they have a strong bench, and that's going to play a big part during the season for these Lady Boxers. 43 to 27, the score, Brockton up by 16 points. Eight minutes on the clock for the fourth and final quarter here on opening night from Staff Gymnasium. Callie need to inbound for the uh, Ponticate Lakers. Kaylin Milligan can't crawl the pass. Jelani Jackson comes away with it. Up to Gina Silvermore lays it up. No good, but she is fouled. Yeah, that, and that was speed. That's why she got fouled was the speed. Nice defensive play, but she was fouled. And good defense at the other end um, on the steal. Gina Silvermore to take two shots. Misses the first. Hits the second shot, 44 to 27. Brockton now up by 17. Yep, Lady Boxers playing good team defense. And good team offense. Kelly Knee over to number 21, Abby Sylvia. Milligan over to Simmonson. Simmonson walks into the paint, lays it up, no good. Silver Moore with the rebound. I tell you, uh, Silver Moore, she's fearless going into going to the hole. Miles, it just looks like she's holding on to the ball just a half second too long. Yeah, she, she might have wanted to come up, come back up. She kind of went up against two or three defenders. Milligan over to Knee. Knee to Simmonson. Simmonson off the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Tony Fairhurst. 
Simmonson rejects the pass from Jackson to Aliyah Brito. It'll be a Brockton ball. Yeah, Fairhurst just controlling the boards on the offensive end as well as the defensive end. Hand up, Abby, hand up, hand up! Go, Milligan, come on! Catch now, Keelan Milligan. Hand up! Catherine Lewis trying to get into the paint and she commits a travel. Yeah, she took one too many steps. Back and forth action here at Staff Gymnasium. Kelly Knee back to number 13, Chelsea Coe. Oh, nice block by Silva Moore. Silva Moore now on the other end. Throws it up. Silva Moore a little bit slow to get up. Yeah, Silva Moore has hurt her ankle. And that's one of the consequences of driving all the way into the basket and Silva Moore with a right high ankle injury will come out of the game replaced by Natasha Lyons. And hopefully she'll be okay um, for the next game. Hopefully it's not too, too serious. Because she is definitely one of the keys to this uh, lady basketball team, lady boxer basketball team. Absolutely. Jelani Jackson gets it over to Natasha Elias. Back to Jackson. Jackson down to Catherine Lewis. Back to Jackson. And then this is a good Elias, job right Elias now. For three. Ooh, good. Nice. Natasha Elias with another big three point to put the Brock boxers up by 20. Yeah, and what I liked about that, they took their time, took some time off the clock, made sure they got the shot they wanted. And Natasha hits the big three. Simmonson for three, no good. Rebounded by Tony Fairhurst. Yeah, that was just great positioning by Tony Fairhurst underneath, blocking out the defender. Jackson into the paint, up, no good. Rebounded by Fairhurst. Gets the layup and one. Fairhurst doing it all for the Brock and Box. She's Miles. doing it all, and it's nothing that the Lady Lakers can do about it. Fairhurst got those long arms. She can put it, she's got arms like um, for Oklahoma. What's his name? Russell Westbrook, no, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. She's built like a Kevin Durant, long arms, and that puts a big advantage to her when she's out there in the red paint. She hits the free throw. 50 to 27, Brockton up by 23 points, running away with the game early in the fourth quarter. Kelly Knee. Knee inside to Milligan. Milligan up. No good. Rebounded by Catherine Lewis. Yeah, you, you have to make those. Hey, good job, Cal. Rock and ball. Silva Moore finds her way back into the game. Still favoring that right leg a little bit. Yeah. So keep an eye on that. Yeah, she's got to be careful. There you go. Tag down, tag down, tag down. Jelani Jackson over to Silva Moore. Silva Moore looked like she was going to take a very long three. Jackson to Silva Moore. Silva Moore now takes a three. Off the backboard, no good. Gets her on rebound. Wow. Puts it up and in. What a play by Giannisha Silva Moore. Yeah, you, it's one word, hustle. <laughs> 21 lays it up and in. Abby Sylvia for the Aponicate Lakers. Delani Jackson brings it up for the Brockton Boxers with four minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Catherine Lewis for three, no good. Silva Moore with the rebound out to Jelani Jackson. Twenty-six seconds put on the shot clock. It'll still be Brockton ball. Yeah, that was a nice job by the referees noticing that. That shot clock wasn't properly set. Jelani Jackson down to Silva Moore. Silva Moore driving. One-on-one situation for Giannisha Silva Moore. I tell you what, uh, Matt, just a gutsy effort by Silva Moore to come, come back in this game after injuring herself and um, just picked up where she left off. 
She will be a one and one situation. Misses the first, so there will not be a second, but Tony Fairhurst with the rebound. Yeah, smart, smart job by number 24 to bring it back out. Tony Jackson down to Elias inside to Tony Fairhurst. First being held, it's a jump ball. That was good defense by the Lady Lakers. Get their hands on that basketball. 3.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Brockton now in the bonus as Aponikit has committed seven fouls. Jackson for three, good! Jelani Jackson, three three-pointers on the night. And yeah. she is putting this Brockton Boxer team on her back. Yeah, she's dangerous. Milligan for a long two. Good, 55 to 31 the score, three and a half minutes to go. Hey, finish strong, come on. Now Jelani Jackson over to Natasha Elias. Elias down to Catherine Lewis. Lewis back to Elias. Elias to Jackson. Jackson to Silva Moore. Moore is fouled. Great ball movement by the Lady Boxers. Bringing around the horn. Making the Lady Lakers work on defense big time. And also the Lady Boxers taking some time off that clock, moving the ball around the horn. Nadia Montero replaces Natasha Elias, Silvermore at the line. This is the first free throw attempt, 55-31. Milligan across half court. Simmonson for three, no good. Catherine Lewis with the rebound. Jelani Jackson over to Silvermore. Silvermore is fouled. Number 11 called with a block. That is Alyssa Peck. Yeah, Alyssa Peck hasn't been in there that often, but she's really got a, a big chore to try to stay with uh, Silvermore. And all she could do was foul her. Otherwise, she was going to the hole. Aliyah Brito replacing Tony Fairhurst, who will get a breather. Two minutes, 51 seconds left. Fairhurst with a fantastic game. Yeah, a well-deserved rest for Fairhurst. Van, like you said, most likely, she, we didn't keep the stats, but look, most likely she has close to a triple-double. She, I mean, she rebounded all night. She, she shot all night. And she, she made some nice assists, too. Just an all-around great game for the first home game of the season for the Lady Boxes. Simmonson over to Kelly Nee, Nee for three, no good. Rebounded by Aliyah Brito. Jelani Jackson brings it up for the Brockton Boxers. Over to Silva Moore. Moore for three. No good. And it will be a, a Ponicate ball. Serena Amato making the way into the game for the Boxers, replacing Silva Moore. Yeah, Silva Moore, well deserved rest for her. She's been a key, another key uh, piece to this. Um, Victory this evening. I'm calling a victory with two minutes and 22 seconds left. Boxes up by plenty of points. Brockton up by 26 points, 57 to 31 the score. As Callie Nee holds for the Aponica Lakers. <laughs> Catherine Lewis getting a well deserved breather here as number three. Kersey Joseph finds her way into the game. Simpson to Kelly Nee Nee. With an offensive foul, number 33. That is Jess Dubois. Johnny Jackson. With a very long three, good. Miles, that had to be from NBA distance. Yes, it was. That, that's what she does. I mean, don't let her warm up. She's deadly from the outside. Kaylin Milligan is fouled on her way to the basket. She will shoot two. I'm, well, I tell you, we had a good look at that. That was all ball. The referee that called it was on the other side of the court. He really couldn't see that. All she got was ball. Nice defensive play by the Lady Boxers. Miles, let's talk about Jelani Jackson. 
She's got four three-pointers to this point with a minute 47 seconds remaining. She's doing it all for the Brock and Boxers. Yes, she is. She's doing it all. She's just, again, she's just a sophomore. So she's showing a lot of um, leadership out there. She's showing her basketball smart. She's showing her patience and her tenacity hitting those big-time shots out there as a sophomore. Sasha Gagnon replaces Aliyah Brito. Number 21 comes away with it, Nadia Montero. Montero off the backboard, no good. Rebounded by number three, Kirsty Joseph, who lays it up and in. Yeah, Kirsty Joseph getting to the act. She just got in there. She's wasting no time. Brockton now up by 30 points. Jalen Milligan into the paint over to Simmonson. Simmonson out to number 12, Carolyn Cody, who gets it back to Milligan. 10 on the shot clock. Milligan with a long three. Good. Nata Natasha Elias now for Brockton. Takes the shot. Gets it over to Sasha Gagnon. Gagnon over to Amato. Gagnon with the three point attempt, no good. She has the ball back. Brockton throwing up the three pointers with 36 seconds remaining. Milligan out to Simmonson, no good. 30 seconds left on the clock, no shot clock. Aponicate will shoot two shots. Sammy Goodwin at the line, 62 35 miles. For all intents and purposes, this game is over. The MVP for Brockton has got to be Tony Fairhurst, who is very close to a, a triple-double. Yeah, just a dominant figure out there on the court. On the offense, she was dominant. On defense, she was dominant. And she just intimidated these uh, Lady Lakers. Intimidation, I mean, the Lady Lakers missed a lot of shots out there. They just couldn't hit their shots. And that was because of the great, tenacious defense of the Lady Boxers and with uh, Tony Fairhurst leading the way. And Miles, a very close second to the MVP of this opening night game is number 23, Jelani Jackson. Yep, Jelani Jackson, an another big time, big time effort, home effort here, opening home um, game for the Lady Boxers. She just showed her um, leadership as a sophomore coming out here and doing what she did out there on the basketball court. Brockton with all the reserves in, and Kaylin Milligan, the MVP on the Aponicat Lakers side, finding her way to the bench with 17 seconds remaining, 64-36. Yeah, nice job by Fernandez coming in underneath, a little scoop shot from underneath the basket. Nice play. Six seconds remaining. Number 12 for Aponicat lays it up and in. Carolyn Cody. And the buzzer sounds so. The final score here from Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School. The Brockton Boxers come away with a big opening night win, Miles, 64-38, led by Tony Fairhurst and Jelani Jackson. Yeah, um, they, they got some leadership out there. I see a lot of positive things happening with this Lady Boxer team this year, and um, they all did a great job. Silver Moore, spark plug, tough, tenacious ball player. I look for big things from this Lady Boxers team this year. Aliyah Brito with a huge game, rebounding, shooting threes, going inside the paint, taking no prisoners. Just a, a complete game by all of the Brockton Boxers miles. Yeah, I, I like Brito's game. She she um, works well with um, Fairhurst underneath, two big bodies underneath. They complement each other, and she's a very smart bar, ball player. Now let's talk about the effort by Giannisha Silvermore. She, she hurt her high ankle, limped off, came back in the game, put the Brockton Boxers on her back, and carried them to the promised land. Yeah, I mean, that just shows you how tough she is. I mean, it looked like she might not come back in the game, the game, but she told the coach she's ready to go back in there, shook off a little injury, if it was the ankle, knee, or whatever it was, and just um, picked up where she left off. So the final score once again from Staff Gymnasium, uh, Brockton High School, 64-38. The Brockton Boxers get the better of the Aponicate Lakers. There's four basketball games here at Staff Gymnasium next week. We will have each and every one of them for you on Brockton Community Access. For my broadcast partner, Miles Jackson, I'm Mad Dog Man Nelson. We will see you next game.